Tomb Raider. The definitive edition of this, of course. The first and the reimagined Tomb Raider trilogy. Probably the best. Well, I suppose that's what I'll argue. Action adventure and thrill, I suppose, and survival with. Okay, so storytelling is pretty good. Pretty good. So it's the. It sets the foundation. It's the young Lara on a journey to become, you know, the fully fledged, most powerful adventurer, super sleuth, puzzle solving. World traveling, um, you know, confronter of great mystery, great, you know, mythological lore, and all sorts of stuff like that. Maybe I'll sit at the campfire. Yeah, that's fine. And this was such a great way to reintroduce a character and, and then for new fans of the series, people who hadn't played the old games, to really bring them back in, or bring them into the, the whole series in the first place. And it's such a good job of selling the, well the, I suppose the character development of your Lara. So you go from being confronted and being panicked and trying to survive and fighting and shoot the nail, doing everything you can to, you know, adapt to the situation you're put in. And then you get stronger, you get better weapons, you get a full skill tree, become, you know, an absolute beast, get all your gear, get all your weapons upgraded, discover more weapons, get more tools for traveling traversal. And then you scour the entire world as you, you progress through it in a natural, it feels like a natural way. It is a linear a story, but there is open world sections where you can traverse around. I suppose, I want to show, what's a good way of doing it? No, that's fine, that's fine. And it's just a tremendously enjoyable action adventure. Is there bad guys nearby? Shoot him. Uh, the action, the combat's pretty good. Uh, it's not... Okay. Okay, I'll pause it. Because because it's just being a bit annoying. The gunplay isn't... It's good without being amazing. So, you know, there's a lot of cover fire type situation. So it's sort of... Uh, Tomb Raider and the reimagining of the trilogy or this next trilogy it really does take a lot from the Uncharted series and without being as so I say as extravagant at times in terms of the set piece it's a different kind of set piece so it's more of a survival set piece and well they get that with Uncharted too but you know it's it's a it's their own twist but it still does build upon the foundations laid by the Uncharted series in terms of action, you're surviving. Cut. You have your QTE, quick time events, and cutscenes, and then you have, say, going down the river, dodging the debris, that sort of stuff. And you have the 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 strong gore in this game throughout. Is the death animations for Lara very visually? Look what they grotesque. Oh, there's a guy. So I can shoot someone. Oh, jeebus. Oh. God damn. Brutal. So yeah, they have the difficulty up. So that's kind of why I almost got erected in two seconds. Okay, let's sit down. So we got a skill. So let's just grab it. That's fine. Uh, boom, done. Okay. 
back to being chill <laughs> for one moment before I get killed. The I think the anonymous henchmen's that's I still feel you know the near automata type of situation is always the best where you flip it flip it on its head and the what is anonymous becomes a character. So again, you do kill mindless enemies, multitude of them, and some big ones and a little bit of variation there, but. It's mostly the traversal and the puzzle solving, which I think is the, the stronger aspects of the game. And the combat is serviceable. Um, some of the bosses later on, the more myth mythological bosses, uh, you know, and enemies are quite challenging. Unless you're really well set up. So again, one of the things that is important, you know, if you're new to the game, is that the one of the first areas you're in, the coastal forest, just farming that, hunting deers for money, I think they patched it up so you couldn't get as much money. Like, they used to be infinite spawning, like, consistently, and then you could just farm shitloads of money. I think, yeah, they did change that, so... Used to be easier. Um, looking for collectibles, tombs are a big part of the game, so... Uh, it's something that sort of carries through. Especially into the third uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. That, that's, that's so heavily, by, you know, leaning on the tombs. But the different environments, the snow, the mountains. Oh, what? Let's just. Not broken tile. Where's a good spot to just jump in there? Mountain base. Let's just jump. Let's get over there. So there is a. You know, it does give you the percentages and what items, what things you're missing in each section. So there's the encouragement to collect 100%, collect as much as you can. And you'd have the different environments. Now, this is still, you know, an older game. So I don't want to be too don't don't be too harsh on the graphics and all that. Oh, this is probably a shit place to be. Why does it keep pausing? I don't even press pause. Our uh, music and ambience is really good, and you always had the feeling. I suppose it's the best thing really. Uh, your jumping is always ridiculously high, as is the uh, Tomb Raider way. Why do you keep opening up menus? Okay. You have a lot of climbing traversal in sections as well as between sections and so much of the let's get back here and the hell out of this crap place go somewhere decent come on helicopter hill it's a great game i mean one of the best you know it's just a great experience i think is the main thing about it so we climb. If the gunplay was a little bit better, I think it'd be... It could be even better. But again, that's why you have sequels. And that's something that they sort of innovate on and I'll talk about in the reviews of the next ones. But yeah, so you have... You want a couple of different guns, shotguns, a rifle, and you have the variation in combat. And you can use stealth. You have the stealth mechanics, which they don't they don't go crazy with, which I think is probably a good thing. And you have Lara, who is such an endearing character in this, in some ways, most ways really. But it, this is a little bit on. But it's all about her growing as a character and her toughing it out. And then it's good when you have these campfire. When you get to the checkpoints, the campfires, you actually feel, you know, she's bloody had a bad time and she's exasperated and she's, you know, at the end of her rope and she's just hanging in there. And then you have the calls and the other members of the team. So the other characters in the story. So some of them are stronger than others, but they're always there, you know. She's not alone, and it's at times she is alone. Though she does, you know, you do feel that. 
but it's kind of that mix where she does have to become her own strong person and find her own way through this horrible trial. It's, it's a chasm shrine, it's a good place, a good passage. Let's go over here. But yeah, she have got to find her way through it. And as the player, you are, you know, you're with her on this journey of finding your way through it. And on the harder difficulties, it's bloody hard work. But it's not impossible. It's not an unreasonable... I'm not unreasonably hard on the hardest difficulty, which is quite a good thing to do. And you have a lot of puzzle solving. Uh, a lot of... So you got survivor sense... You got your little dodge and you have great you know environmental set pieces where you move this thing here move this thing here and then you put it together all the pieces of the puzzle and then you smash your way through and then you get to the next area and you progress and you have the raw brutality of the local island people and they're trying to escape and you're trapped in this other mythos and that's all fine i think probably the weakest part of the game is at the end, the mythos, in terms of what's happening with how you come to solve the issues the island has and ultimately escape, is that I feel like that kind of... By the time you get there, it's not... It's second. Lara's journey is first, and the actual mythos of the island is second. And maybe that's... Maybe that's fair, maybe it's unfair, maybe it's... It, you know, it's up to the player to decide whether you think that's doing the mythos justice and that the whole thing with your friend and the, having her related to the, the oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and that the interpretations of who's good and who's bad now you can flip it around and and that's totally reasonable with histories you can always flip things around if you you know want to rewrite it or just interpret it differently or it was interpreted differently in the first place but ultimately it's an excellent game Yeah, excellent game. I, I'll easily go 9 out of 10 because of the timing it was released on the console it was released on. And its ability to just... Oh, let's go somewhere else. Just to hang in there. To be a game that you can always you can always go back and play through it. So that's a massive, massive achievement. Something that everyone should... You know, if you haven't played <laughs> Tomb Raider in the Reimagined Trilogy... Play it. How did I get back here? Stupid map room. Okay. Da, 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 da. No, I went to Shandy Town. Geothermal caves. That's a disgusting place. Disgusting. No, I went there. Let's go back to Coastal Forest. Nice and simple. I'm jumping around a bit. I do want to show a little bit of the environments because. Something that I think improves, you know, throughout the trilogy is the environments become significantly better. But I think the theming and the feeling you get in the different environments is still pretty good back here. Back in the first one. So let's go on to two. Your jump is crazy, by the way. She's, you know, long jump specialist. She's crazy. She's crazy. That's your, really your only superpower is jumping. That and just not dying. Um, I like the way it introduces you into the game mechanics and you go through them in this area and you learn the game. Bambi's mother, no! I couldn't do it. Come on. I'll leave Bambi's mother alone. So you have a number of little, you know, puzzle things and collectibles and stuff. And... Ooh. Why does he keep opening the menu? Freeze. But yeah. I think it looks great. Still looks good. And then the, the future games improve how it looks. But, you know, they have their own challenges and things. So yeah, just... Oh, and you could... The rabbit looks like shit. Look at him. Get it. Get the rabbit. Get that. Oh my god, did she hit me? Nature's cruel. So yeah, 9 out of 10. Awesome game. 
Uh, traversal, Q time, uh, quick time events, interweaving into combat. It's good. Again, you know, just dodge is fine, usually. Uh, the combos with your weapons and some of the skills you get are good. Meaningful skills, most of them. The vast majority of them do change the way you play, or just make it easier. Uh, the best weapon, the bow is the best. Shotgun's useful. Uh, rifles, yeah. pistols are nice, just handy. Uh, but yeah, again, the your climbing pickaxe thing is awesome. Uh, there's different outfits you can get, so you can change how she looks. But this is her best look. So, is there anything else left to be said? It's a great journey of. Come on, do I have photo mode? Oh. No, um, no photo mode. They introduce that later. But yeah, young Lara, you know, growing into an adult through the toughest of circumstances. Everyone should play it. Everyone should play this game. Tomb Raider. Everyone should play it. Definitive Edition. Everyone should play it, damn it. Stop changing weapons. Oh, it's doing the voice commands. What is it doing that for me? Let's go with uh, audio options. Controller speaker. No, that was me. I don't worry about it. But yeah, the music in the significant moments is really good. I think it does a really good job of... It touches your heart. And I'm in end game, so it's hardly... You know, you're just collecting stuff at this point, so it's not a big deal. But yeah. The way the story flows, I think, is really good. Until the end, I feel like the last the last fifth of the game... It's okay. It's not shit or anything. It's just that it... I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I'd say it was the, the best ending ever. So that kind of does lead into the fact there is more games. Not that any of the other ones are really particularly amazing. It's, I suppose as things become more mythological, you sort of lose that, the whole, the game is so grounded in reality, in certain ways, in other ways of course, it's, you know, there's a bit of theatre and a bit of, you know, it's a movie game, game movie. But um, it's still the reality of Lara's journey and her hardship she goes through, really keeps it grounded, and then you have the mythological aspect sort of just kind of feels like it pulls away from that, which the game, you know, it does the game an injustice in a way. But you, maybe you do need mythological, maybe you don't. They could have gone away with it and just completely changed that up and just had it be Lara, you know, solving it in a way that is realistic and it's having sort of a realistic aspect. But that's kind of a, a greater argument about the whole series, whether or not it should ever, should be in any way mythological, be magical, or just completely scrap magic and completely just go ultra realism and it's all about you know learning about history and learning from history but you know even in the movies you had the sort of mythological aspects and I don't know they were they were the weaker parts generally but yeah this has been uh, Frosty Fire 10 review how long have I gone for that's good the good short, short review of Tomb Raider Definitive Edition on PlayStation 5 I'm playing it but it is a PlayStation 3 game and then go to PlayStation 4 so it's quite old now but bloody good bloody good game bloody fantastic 9 out of 10 just because of the time and on the console and being you know that sort of stuff and you can go and come back and play it it's just that I do find the mythological aspect a bit, bit a bit tougher to chew you know, just a little bit more of a, hmm, hmm. Was it needed? Did they need it? And some of the enemy types they add late in, later on, sort of like, do they need those? They they sort of fit with the, the mythos, but they don't fit with the game. Like in the journey. So, and the Blood River thing, that's awesome when you drop into the Blood River. That's, a, that's the sickest part. Visually, that's so, so good. It's a lot of great artistic parts of the game in, the, in your journey. So... Um, combat, again, 
it's one of the weaker parts, but it's still good. I mean, it's not terrible or anything. It's just not groundbreaking, unbelievable. Because again, this game is so much learning from Uncharted, which is what you do when other people do good stuff. You, you take what you want from them and you do your own version of it. But yeah, um, that'll do. The other part, of course, is, you know, it's Lara Croft, dude. She hot. That's the whole point. Of course she hot. Of course she is. And it's funny how it changes in the series, how they don't want it to be that about that. Which, again, she doesn't need romance. Don't need any of that shit. She's goddamn... Goddamn adventurer, for goodness sake. Does what the hell she wants. She's tough. She can do whatever she freaking wants. She can travel the goddamn world. She don't need no one. So they do chuck the friends at you a lot in the series. At times. And they do sort of burden her with them. So it is kind of a... <coughs> it's her development just shedding her friends and going, No, I don't want to carry the weight of their lives on my shoulders. I'm going to do it my own way. You know? Yeah. But okay, so that's enough. Um, I'm going to do a review of the next one. And then we'll get to Shadow of the Tomb Raider. And then you'll hear some very nice things. And some very, very harsh things. Because this is this is a great start for the trilogy. Probably the best of them. And then things don't go so well at the end. But that's where I'm going to go. Because that's important. Alright, this has been Frosty by 10. Like and subscribe. I'll catch you next time. Um, yeah, 9 out of 10. Play Tomb Raider. Definitive Edition. Play it. It's awesome. Alright, bye-bye.